this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and as I've promised you for a while we're gonna work on a little bit of skin blending first what I'm gonna do is paint my face and I've already started working on Michaela I've done half of her blending and I've left the rest of it I haven't quite finished it yet so I'm going to we're gonna ignore this for now um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just work on this so I can show you from kind of the beginning to the end how we blend all right, so I have finished with my face and the next part is going to be skin blending. You can see that there are very light shades and tints that make up my face. My nose kind of disappears here and from a distance I can see the depth of it, but close up all I see are these sections of paint. So what we wanna do is try to eliminate those sections and make everything blend into the next part. So that's what we're gonna focus on right now. So I'm gonna use just the ceramic plate to blend colors with today. Um, I feel like for me, it just gives me a nice smooth texture to move the paint around if I need it. So I'm going to use a round brush in a five slash zero, which is a very small tip you can see that and for the smaller areas that's what we're going to do so I'm going to start blending this section here into this section so what we are going to need to do is take out our reference guide to determine which two paint colors these are that are beside each other you're also gonna need an extender, which is like uh, Liquitex Slow Dry is another one. This is Folk Art brand that is called Extender. A floating medium would work as well. So this section is a number seven. So I'm gonna pull my number seven out. And this one beside it is a number one. So those are the two we're going to work on to start with. I'm going to take these two uh, stainless steel stirrers that I've mentioned recently in a video and I'm going to scoop out a little bit of number one so I don't have to keep this open the whole time. Now the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take a flat brush, something like this. This is a shader brush that I got from Norgeson and I'm going to put a tiny bit of extender on my plate here, just so I have it available to me. I'm gonna dip my brush in that extender and get it wet like I would if it was just water. And then right along this line where number seven and number one meet, I'm gonna put a little bit of that extender on there, just painting it on. Now while that's wet, Let's go in with our darkest color first. Now you'll notice I have some number one on my brush. I, I don't, that's okay. I'm not gonna take that off there. I'm gonna start with this darker color, number seven, and I'm gonna make kind of a diagonal stroke mark, almost like as if I was making an X, but I'm just going down on the diagonal to start with. and I'm crossing the line where the two colors meet. As far down as I have extender. I will stop wherever I've gotten as far as the extender has gone. So I'm just gonna go back up here and I'm gonna take that color again, number seven, and I'm gonna go in the opposite direction a little bit, almost like I'm making the opposite side of the X. going up in this direction just so I can make it work so you're basically just making an X on that line where they where they meet when I go into number one I'm not gonna wipe off my paintbrush I'm gonna leave what's on there from number seven and I'm gonna start on the opposite side where the lighter color is number one is and I'm gonna bring it over the line in a diagonal And I'm just gonna continue that all the way down 
you can pull it up or you can bring it down, whatever you want, as long as your diagonal is going in that direction to start with. And that you're crossing over what you have put on there with your number seven. So I'm working on number one. I'm gonna do that until that line is blurred. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got one on my brush. I'm gonna wipe off the excess one. I'm not going to rinse my brush and I'm taking number seven. I'm going back over the line. So now the line is so diffused, I don't even know where it is anymore. And that's what we want. We want that line to just be gone. And then I'm just gonna smooth out any little extra lines or you know anything that looks a little thicker Now, I'm gonna wipe off what's on my brush. I'm not gonna rinse it, and I'm going back into number seven, and I'm gonna pull it from this direction so that I'm going back over number seven and only number seven. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna bring out our number seven, and then it's gonna blend it in to that number one to where it is gonna be invisible. There's not gonna be any line when I'm done. Okay, so once it dries, I can see a little bit more of what I need to do. While I have number one out, this is number one, this is number eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and get number eight out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of extender again, which is still here on my plate. And I'm gonna put it over this line where number one and number eight cross. Now, if your extender dries, you can always add a little bit more. It's, it's okay. Um, I'm working pretty quickly, so it's not really drying too fast. It's still giving me that blending time, but I'd rather have, I'd rather reapply it than have too much. Okay, so now let's go in with our number eight which is our lighter color right here. And we're gonna start going at a diagonal into that number one. Okay. And this is called X blending in a very loose way. I'm gonna go down as far as that extender will allow me to. And then I'm gonna come back in the opposite direction with my X. Just making X marks along the way. I'm not gonna rinse it, I'm gonna wipe it off of my plate. I'm going back into number one, and this is the darker of the two that are meeting here. And we're gonna bring it over into number eight using just really quick stroke marks and diagonal angle. I'm not rinsing my brush at all during any of this. Since this is drying and I've got this down here I can still work on, I'm gonna go back a little bit more with some number one because I want to make sure that I am blending that in and I'm not losing the darker of these two colors. Okay, we're gonna wipe the brush here and it's just gonna pick up some more of number eight, which is the lighter color. And we're gonna blend it back in the opposite direction. Do this until you think it looks like what it's supposed to look like. And the thing is, you're gonna really have to let it dry before you make any judgments about whether you think it looks like it's supposed to or not. Don't be your own worst critic. Stand back from it and take a look and then determine what you think. All right, so now this is drying and I'm still seeing a little deep color here moving into that. So I wanna work on that a little bit more. I am gonna rinse my brush this time because I'm gonna start on number seven and I don't want that super light number eight in there. Let me go in here and get a little more extender and put it up here where I didn't go yet. 
Now you're also, you're, you can see that I can go over the line where those two are with this brush with a little extender on it. And it's gonna help me blend as well. And then I'm gonna just pull it off in this direction. And allow it to dry to see what kind of effect I'm getting. All right, so let's go up here with our little tiny brush. And the reason I use a tiny brush is I can get better strokes with it. And so that's just what I've learned works for me. So let's get a little bit of this number seven on my brush. Get up here to blend this part. So there's no harsh lines. Let that dry. I'm gonna come down here and start working this part while that's drying so I can see what I need to do. This is not a quick process, even if you do it the way I'm doing it, which is faster than normal. Um, it You just have to have patience. You guys, your, your painting can look amazing if you will just really be patient with it and do these techniques. I'm going into number seven. The seven overlaps into one here. I'm gonna stop about right there. I'm gonna wipe my brush off on the plate without rinsing it and go into number one. And then I'm gonna go back across where I had put that number seven. This is a very loose version of x blending you guys this is not exactly x blending this is kind of my own x blending made up with different different techniques so i'm not really sure what to call it all right so i've got that one in there i like that a lot and then i'm going to go back with my seven a little bit here and bring in some more x's but i'm staying more into the seven side of it and then I notice that there's a number one right here I can see, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it off without rinsing it and go over number one. So hopefully that number won't show once we're done. All right, so let's let this dry some more. The only time I'm gonna rinse, you guys, is when I go into two different colors. So like if I go from number seven and number one, and I switch and I go from number one to, and number eight and mix those, I'm not going to use my brush dirty. I'm gonna use it clean each time. So just keep that in mind. That that's the time where you wanna make sure you're rinsing it and wiping it off, getting all the water off. But um, that's really the only time you really need to rinse. So let's work on number one to number eight right in this section, which I didn't get to yet. Take in my flat brush, getting some extender, and let's Put that right over the line like we did earlier. I'm gonna to continue to talk you through it until you've practiced it and you can do it and feel like you've figured it out, you've got it on your own. So I'm going in with number one again and I'm gonna go down at an angle, like a diagonal down line from number one into number eight. Just keeping that, I'm just making sure I've got a diagonal all the way down. Need to get a little bit more of number one. Now, if your brush feels like it's too wet from the extender, you can dry it off, just wipe it off, not rinse it. Okay, so I've got the number one. Let's wipe that off a little bit. Then let's go in and wipe it off our brush on here and get the number eight. And let's bring in number eight going in this direction. And if it gets muddy, starts getting muddy, I'm gonna go in and get more number eight that's fresh.
Now I see how this is drying right. I'm noticing how this is drying right here and it's leaving me too much of a line. So let's go back, put a little extender there. Yeah, if my plate, if, if the extender dries up on my plate, I'm just gonna get a little bit more and add it. So this seems to still be kind of wet, which means that's good because it's gonna give me some blending time. And we're just gonna pat at it, really. Okay. I really like to let each section dry a little bit before I work it because you can overwork it and not even realize it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in, this is number eight that moves into number 11. So we've got eight here, so we've got seven, one, and eight, and I can remember which ones are which, but I'm gonna go ahead and add an um, 11 to this palette. Now, tin is this really white color here, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and put some tin out here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling that already wet 11 into this section here. So back into 10 by itself. And getting that and just kind of painting it to blend those two because they're so close in color that you don't really have to do as much of the like X blending technique. Okay, so let's get back to blending this side of my face. I have allowed that part to dry and I've come back to it now that it's completely dry and I can still see a lot of this line. So that's what I'm gonna focus on first is making sure that I eliminate this line altogether. You definitely want to let it dry before you do any more blending because sometimes you really just don't need to. 
So I'm going to go back to my bottle of extender and put it on my plate here. And just like we did the first time, we're going to take a little bit of that extender and go over this line. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use a little larger brush this time for demonstration purposes. I feel like it's a little bit easier to see. So this is a two slash zero. And let's get some number seven. And start going across that line in this direction. Because my paints are drying out just a little bit, because I had to take a break for a little while, um, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of diluted flow aid to it just to kind of revive it. Now let's go back in here and cover that line in this direction. Now we're going to go back and cover it in the opposite direction. Making sure we have no on there. While it's still wet, off and go into the color beside it. Get a little of this diluted flow aid that I got on the plate in here. Revive it a little. I say a little a lot, don't I? All right, let's go in from this direction across that line. So while this is drying, let's work on these the mouth a little bit. I'm going to take the three colors. There's 28, 26, and 27. And let's put a little bit of the extender just for blending a little easier. I'm just going to kind of cover up all the lines with it. Not trying to get too much. And let's see what we think. So let's start with 28 into 26. And I'm just going to use the cap. And we're going to take this small 2 slash 0 brush and just 
go over the line. Now you'll notice, I'm going to go ahead, if I'm in here with this color, and fill in any little gaps or openings or anything touching up that I need to touch up. And then while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and get this little one. Let's do 26. I'm not going to clean my brush. I'm just going to wipe it a little off right there on a paper towel. And let's go in with some 26 over the top of that. And just going in that di diagonal direction. And then we're going to grab our 28 again and kind of mix them together here. the rest of my face so that we can call this video done and I've let it dry and I'm actually going to just work on using the same technique that I have described to you to blend all of this out. Now I've already done the lips and the lips have dried and they look really good. So even though I can go back later if I need to and add a little separation here in the darker 28, then that's something I can do later. But for now, the, the lips to me, as long as there's no harsh line, I'm really happy with that. So let's just finish working on this. And like I said, I'm just gonna repeat what I've already shown you. So let's get started. So now I'm gonna try the one stroke method with this chiseled shader brush from Princeton. It is a size six. What I like about these brushes is the, the length. They're not long. They give you more control for this kind of blending because the, the bristles are short. Now I would not, if I were you, I would not take a shader brush and try to make it shorter because the problem with that is that it, it ends up being not even at the end. So, you know, if you could just pick up one chisel brush I know sometimes the brushes are, you know, can get out of control as far as how many we have, but I believe it will help you um, to have at least one or two of these chisel brushes like this. So while I've got these colors here, I'm going to do this section and this section and kind of work around on my neck a little bit while that's drying before I decide what I need to do with this up here. 
Now I'm gonna get some extender on this brush just by dipping it in there. And I'm turning my tray or my plate around my tray. Let's not act like we have fancy tools here. Um, okay, and I'm gonna just make sure that I'm loading my brush in the direction that this is going to be. So this is number seven, that's number one. I'm gonna get some of number seven on my brush, on about half of my brush, and then I'm gonna dip it into number one, and I'm gonna blend it together by moving it back and forth, left to right, so that it mixes on that brush. I'm gonna take it right here, and I'm just gonna go along that line to add those different blending colors to it. Now I'm smoothing out any, any paint that might be thick. So, but what I'm doing is I'm also moving it to the left and then coming and moving it over on the right. Now, the reason I really love this blending method is because it's fairly quick. All blending methods take time. Um, but this one to me has been a lot faster since I kind of decided to try it. I've always used the one stroke blending with other things, but when I tried it with this, I was super happy. But I want to kind of show you how to perfect that technique. So once this dries, we're gonna see what it needs and then we can mess with it too. So here, while that's drying, we're gonna work on this because this is drying and this is drying. So I'm gonna get a little bit more number eight on my palette. About couldn't find it, it scared me. I'm just gonna dip into this paint pot and get a little extender on this brush, getting off the excess. It's a clean brush. And then I'm gonna load, because one is on the left and eight is on the right, that's how I wanna load it. So I'm gonna get half, number one on half my brush, number eight on the other half, and then I'm gonna blend them together. Now the more we do this, the more blended it's gonna be. So when I go over this line, it's gonna be really light at first, remember? And then we're going to come back and kind of bring it this way a little bit and take it that way a little bit to make sure the lines are smooth. Once you start blending, the tricky part will be that you won't be able to see the lines very well that were there before. So you just kind of have to wing it, but just do it the way you think it looks good. So that's what I'm doing. Now let's allow that to dry. While that's drying, I'm gonna go in here with number one and number eight. Let's clean our brush off, dip it into some extender I have on my plate or into my paint pot where I also have some extender up here. Just dip it in there and kind of wipe it off. And then we're gonna go in number one on the left, like we did a minute ago, and number eight on the right. And we're gonna blend that together. And let's go here with that. Now, I'm not trying to come up on this part because that's number 10, that's number 11. So number eight is not all the way over there. It's this part, that's number 11, so we don't wanna come up into it. I'm just gonna kinda of move it side to side, not wiggling, we're just moving it as I blend out that color. And we'll let that dry. 
So while we're waiting for these to dry, let's go back to our little tiny brush, and I'm gonna show you which one. It's this five slash zero detail brush. And I'm gonna do this little section here. So the trick to doing the small blending, the tiny places, is to have a little brush. Now this one, you could even use one smaller than this. This one just happens to be the one I've been using, but I'm using this one also because it gives me a nice little line. So I'm gonna dip in, this is number one right here, and this is number eight around it. I'm gonna pull it up using those little diagonal strokes, going across the line, and I'm gonna keep adding it as long as I need it until I get it brought into number eight. Then I'm gonna go use a little extender. I'm not cleaning my brush. Dip in here and get a little bit of number eight. And I'm gonna go back over that line. And we're just gonna keep blending them together like that, okay? Now, for those of you who are saying, well, wait a minute, why can't I just use them mixed together? I know I've talked about that before. You can do it however you want if that's what works for you. Um, but we, this way we get variations of those gradients, of those colors. We get different values. And so that's why I do it this way. Now I'm just dipping back into the number one, which is the darker color. And it looks so light when you're doing this, but once it dries, we can see if we need to blend more. drying I can still see it's wet sometimes it's like you really want to make sure it's dry because it's so easy to go oh it doesn't look good and start messing with it which is what I'm probably gonna do um, but it really needs to dry so I'm just taking number seven by itself and kind of making some lines over that where it's drying and So I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna fast forward again, and I'm gonna work on this lightest part while all this is drying so we can do our touching up.
Okay, so I'm gonna stop there and you guys, blending takes a long time. So do not get discouraged with it. Keep working at it. Um, you can definitely see the big difference between this side of my face and that side of my face, especially if this is hanging up. So I will continue over time to work on this. I'm definitely gonna do some blending in my nose here. And this is gonna be it for today. I hope the technique will help you guys to get your custom paintings done for Christmas. All right, thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and go join me on Patreon. And I will put all that information in the bottom for you below so that you can find it. Thanks as always for watching. See you soon.